Thank you and welcome back to the Las Vegas Sports Talk. We're here, we're talking boxing January 7th, 2023. And the question is, is Javante Tank Davis's Glock has a safety? Uh, as far as we know, the fight is still on, but what will the boxing uh, world do to prevent this fight from going on? Uh, I'll get into that in a moment, but um, first let me say, uh, Tank will be defending the WBA lightweight title against Hector Luis Garcia on January 7th. Uh, so right now we're going to talk about uh, each fighter. Uh, we know uh, Javante Tank Davis is from America, B. Moore, Maryland, uh, born in 1994. Uh, he's currently five, five and a half, uh, 67 point five inch reach, uh, has a total of 27 fights and his record is 27 and 0 with 25 knockouts. And then we have, uh, Hector Luis Garcia. Uh, Dominican, uh, shout out to all my Dominican, uh, people, uh, was born in 1991, uh, current height 5'8", uh, he has a 69 inch arm reach, uh, total fights 16, and, uh, 16 of those wins correction 16 wins uh, 10 of those wins by knockout 3 no contest so uh, this is uh, setting up to be a good fight um, also want to talk about the uh, for all you sports fan, uh, sports betters <laughs> Uh, Davis was, is the favorite, uh, minus 1400, while Garcia is plus 800, uh, which is the underdog. I believe William Hill got Garcia up to, uh, plus 950, and Davis at, uh, minus, uh, 1700. Uh, over and under, uh, they're expecting it to go seven and a half rounds. So that would be the over and under uh, seven and a half rounds. So I'll give my uh, details about the fight here shortly. Uh, As far as the this fight, it's going to be pretty good. We got the undercard um, right there. So we got the, of course, the lightweight fight, lightweight title fight. Uh, we got the intern IBF welterweight title. Uh, then we got the welterweight, and then we got the super middleweight. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a pretty good uh, uh, boxing event. Uh, pretty good boxing event. Uh, but we got to talk about uh, last week what happened to uh, Tank Davis uh, when he got arrested. Uh, as you can see, uh, cops were called, uh, 
there's a picture of Cervantes' face, what appears to look like uh, spit on his face. So uh, you guys make it, make the call. Um, basically, Tank came out saying that, uh, you know, he would never put hands on his child's mother. Um, phone call was made uh, I'm quite sure everyone heard the audio of the 911 uh, phone call where his baby mama uh, you know made the call the police and uh, he was jailed um, this is um, I, I, I don't know I, I you know he was uh, released uh, the next day on a hundred thousand uh, on a thousand dollar bail so that's good that he's out and then the question that I had for you guys um, is the boxing world going to uh, try to stop this fight I uh, want you guys to go back to uh, this gentleman here uh, Rolando uh, Maria, Maria Mar ooh, Rolando Roley let's call him Roley uh, Remember when he was supposed to fight Tank, uh, and then that girl came up with those accusations, and he couldn't fight, so they brought in uh, Pitbull Cruz. So will this happen again? Um, that's the reason why I'm making this video, or will they let him fight? Uh, but one thing. Uh, with this case, um, as you can see here, uh, the baby mama posted uh, posted this on her uh, social media, stating, you know, um, well, you guys can read it for yourself, but you know, it was a mistake, and you know, he didn't hurt me. Uh, so, you guys tell me. What do you think about the situation and will Tank Davis finally have to put a safety on his Glock? Uh, you guys let me know in the comment section below. Uh, also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Instagram and if you didn't subscribe please hit that subscribe button uh, Las Vegas Sports Talk we out